We love, love that sound. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the best place to build your tech career and have fun along the way. I'm Liz and today I'm super excited because today I am unboxing my new monitor which is behind me and I'm trying not to spoil it for you guys. I have been wanting to save and invest in something good that's going to last me and serve me well for computer science related projects as well as personal fun projects and of course creating content on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So for the beginning portion of this unboxing video, we are on the floor in my office because this is how I can fit most of the box in frame, but I'll be switching it up when I'm setting everything up. And so for my monitor, I went with the Asus Pro R Display PA278QV, and I got the 27 inch. Now, I spent a long time deciding on a monitor, and I knew that I wanted to buy one going into my next year of grad school. And I did survive all of last year, my first year of grad school, doing computer science without a monitor, just using my laptop for all of my projects and everything. Um, but I wanted to treat myself and upgrade a little bit now that I'm settled into my apartment. And ultimately, when I was weighing the options of features and price. I went with this one because I felt like it would fit best for all of my computer science needs as well as my hobby which is making videos and editing content and so this one has excellent color quality and also a high refresh rate which is very important for video editing and so it also has a ratio that I liked for when I make videos the 16-9 ratio so that way uh, I can see my video in the correct way that you guys see it on YouTube and most devices. So that was also really important to me. And it took me a while to decide on this and I actually like looked through all of this fancy terminology which includes IPS, um, the color spectrum, color accuracy, um, which is like Delta E, all of this stuff. I watched YouTube videos because I wanted to know where my money was going and not make a decision that I would later regret. Uh, so this was an investment for me, but also it is like my personal monitor. So if I, you know, whether I'm at a job or not, this will stay with me. So I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited. I'll put a link down below on this, like more in depth on this monitor and also the video that I watched, which explains like everything you need to know about monitors because that was really helpful. I, I didn't really have a reference other than when I worked in my previous software engineering position, my work gave me two, um, two like simple monitors and stuff like that. And so I didn't really have a huge reference but I'm really excited about this. So now we are ready to begin. Do the slice them and dice them. Slice them and dice them. So we have some cores at the top that'll be important for the ports and the display. That was another thing. The uh, monitor itself came with a bunch of special ports, which I thought would be helpful for, right now I have a 2015 MacBook Pro that I will be using alongside this and uh, if I ever upgrade to a different laptop I thought it would be helpful to have port options with the monitor um, and this one also adjusts the height so I thought that would be nice and convenient if I'm ever wanting to raise my desk lower my desk um, or just you know if I ever get a different desk we have the calibration testing report for color calibration this is part of the stand I'm gonna unwrap everything and so you guys can see everything laid out. So I have all the pieces laid out. I put her on her beautiful stand. We need to come up with a name because she is beautiful. And so she she can swivel, like you can, you can rotate her this way and then also make her horizontal, which I will do when I no longer need all of this space. She came with power cord, HDMI cord, and then I looked this up. This is a USB, uh, three type B cord. And so 
The instructions seem pretty like straightforward. So we're gonna see how this goes. Um, and then I also have this uh, membership notice and then a little bit about um, the calibration, which came in this like fancy note. Um, from Pro Art. This is again for testing the color calibration. So we're gonna start by going through these and we can see if magic can happen. Okay, so the display is now working. I pulled up like a smoothie video and it actually like plays sound too. So I'm really happy like with that, that like I didn't have to do anything to set up the sound. I do have headphones um, that I may unbox um, that have like a cord that I could connect here to get like the full video editing experience and like block out other noise, background noise when I'm working. Um, so yeah, we're gonna flip to a Beats unboxing. Okay, so these are the Beats Solo 2 wireless. These actually came along with my MacBook Pro that I got for college. And so it was like a package where these were like included with it, like as a student. And I did not want to take them to college because I felt like it was an expensive item that either would get damaged or stolen because like, again, this is like this is what it looks like it's kind of big and it would either get crushed in my backpack or i would lose it somewhere so this is me finally opening them up and getting to use them i wasn't sure if i would ever like i thought about reselling them because i again like the fact that these are like this kind of headphones is just not as convenient to like have around as like a student but now that i have like a home office where I can feel cool and wear these, um, I'm actually really excited. I usually just have, I mean, the only headphones I've been using are from Amazon, but they're like my workout headphones, so they're like sweat proof, but you know, those get worn and therefore when I work out. So I, so I rarely use headphones unless I'm like traveling or in a public place. We love, love that sound. Anyway, okay, so. So should I open it? Oh, oh. Gotta shimmy it, shimmy it off. Wow, I'm like, I don't wanna break it. Oh, this is so exciting. These are gold, so I'm excited about that. My style, I like, I still like gold, so I'm happy that I chose a good color. Oh, we're gonna open the, the fold. Oh, okay. Let's see, Let's see if I can get this somewhat in, in view. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Change the way you hear sound. Wow, this is like a whole experience, like when you open like a new iPhone or something, but this is Beats. Ooh. Oh, they have a case? See, I didn't even know it came with a case. That would have made me feel like maybe a little bit better about not breaking them. Okay, all white case, that's gonna get dirty, but it's okay. <laughs> They're beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ooh, okay. Okay. I can't hear anything. I can't even hear my own thoughts. <laughs> they get my stamp of approval so far. And then we can take this off here. And on the other side, brand new. Love that. Okay, very cool. And then underneath, in the second part of the box, is the cords. Oh, full tab. This is probably like the little manual and information. Okay, this could be handy for like snapping them onto, I don't know, something. Oh yeah, because this, well, Oh, it connects. It probably connects here. Oh, that makes sense. So then you pull this through and then you can hook it onto your like bag. Wow, they think of everything. Okay, this is quality. Yes. Okay, that's smart. And then I have two cords. 
audio and then lightning for charging charging and then audio perfect okay so we can connect that to our new monitor all right so here is what the overall desk setup looks like i have my chair which is like amazing and it was super inexpensive from walmart and then my nice rug and then i put some random box there as like a footrest for that ergonomic design and i still want to film in this room so i'm trying to leave that space open for camera equipment and yeah this is what we have set up here i have this keyboard from logitech which i really like and you can see it illuminates too which is great and then i also have this rest for you know more ergonomic design and this is nice this is my bluetooth um device that i want to use the bluetooth for out of all of the things that i can connect because i think it'll be nice to have the flexibility with doing schoolwork if i want to have the keyboard here to type or if i need to move it to take notes i could take notes over here i could move it depending on what screen i need because like there is the camera for zoom and this one won't um do that so it's good to have options and then over here i have just pulled up my um, one window for my channel and I'm really liking the color quality. I can also like put um, these two screens like closer together to make it like more like seamless and whatnot but I wanted to show a few of the features that I discovered from using this. So if I click on this button I get a menu and if I click it again I can adjust the blue light to be lower so that it doesn't strain my eyes as much or to be more intense. And then with this button, I can go to the menu here and then set different modes for my display. So it has all these options. I'm gonna see if you can get a better idea. Some of them are dark. So this one's darkness mode. They also have a reading mode, which I like a lot. And then there's a few others. This one called rapid rendering mode. Um, so I'll have to explore that and see which works best for YouTube or, and then user mode one and user mode two can be set to whatever custom I want. Um, so yeah, right now I'll do, this is standard mode, so we'll just go with that. Okay, so yeah, that is that. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with how everything is set up and I have my little headphones hanging out in this nook, but I'm probably just going to use the built-in speakers because I like that and most of the time there isn't too much background noise because I live alone. So with that, that concludes my desk setup, my monitor unboxing. It's been super fun to get this set up because I waited for it. It did arrive early because I think a lot of people picked this uh, edition up during the Amazon Prime days. And so I'm happy that it came, but when it did, it came like a week or two ago, but I've just been busy so I haven't set it up yet but yeah thank you guys so much for watching feel free to check out my other computer science career and tech related content I do like to upload on Tuesdays and Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern time and if you want to follow me on social media I do post pretty frequently on my Instagram Liz underscore Victoria underscore YT and my TikTok with that same username and I have some exciting back to school content planned for you guys so I will see you very soon on Tuesday with a new video I'm wishing you a wonderful weekend and I will see you very soon.